Hi, welcome back to the library. Today we're going to read We Don't Eat Our Classmates by Ryan T. Higgins. So I'm going to pull you alongside me so that you can see the pictures better. And here we go. Penelope Rex was nervous. It's not every day a little T-Rex starts school. What are my classmates going to be like? Will they be nice? How many teeth will they have? This was very important. Penelope's mom bought her a new pack backpack with ponies on it. Ponies were Penelope's favorite because ponies are delicious. Penelope's dad packed her a lunch of 300 tuna sandwiches and one apple juice. Finally, the big day came. And Penelope Rex was very surprised to find out that all of her classmates were children. So she ate them because children are delicious. Penelope Rex, said Mrs. Noodleman, we don't eat our classmates. Please spit them out at once. So she did. It was not the best way to start school. Still, Penelope was determined to have a good first day. Look at them. Oof. She tried hard to make friends at recess. She finger painted some of her best work. She even saved Griffin Emery a seat at lunch. You can sit here, right there on her plate, huh? started Penelope started to notice everyone was making friends but her it was lonely when she got home her dad asked about her first day of school I didn't make any friends Penelope cried none of the children wanted to play with me Penelope Rex her father asked did you eat your classmates well Maybe sort of just a little bit. Sometimes it's hard to make friends, said her dad, especially if you eat them. You see, Penelope, children are the same as us on the inside, just tastier. That gave Penelope a lot to think about. The next day, Penelope tried really hard, but... Poor Penelope, she could not stop herself from eating her classmates. Mrs. Noodleman, Penelope ate William Amoto again. And they were all afraid of her. Except Walter. Walter was a goldfish. So Penelope tried to make friends with him. Will you be my friend? Chomp! cried Penelope. He's eating my finger! Wah! Once Penelope found out what it was like to be someone's snack, she lost her appetite for children. She stopped eating her classmates. Even when Cece Woodman spilled barbecue sauce all over herself. And soon, Penelope made friends. Found you. Want a brownie? I helped make them. Now, even when children look especially delicious, she peeks at Walter and remembers what it's like when someone tries to eat you. And Walter the goldfish stares right back at her and licks his lips. because dinosaurs are delicious. And that's the end of our story.